Why have all these like gender lessons and such when we're learning so much about gender in the public forum? Look at how Amber Turt heard, heard, and um, then uh, Jezeb, uh, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. Look at, look at how they're behaving. It's almost as if beautiful women don't need to be socialized in such a way that they're even remotely kind. In fact, actually, what's fascinating is how now I'm hearing rumors from people that Jada Pinkett Smith and Amber Heard have sort of this r- fan club of people who, you know, they they think that maybe Will should just accept, you know, that his his family's kind of a failed experiment, you know, and it didn't work. And that, that, you know, but he should be happy that he even got like a little taste of that poontang of Jada Pinkett Smith. You know, he should be very happy that she let him even, even look at her, right? Because he's, I mean, who is he? I mean, he's only a guy who's one of the most well-known performers in two entirely different genres of entertainment. One being music, the other being cinema. One of the most successful black Americans in the history of the United States. I mean, but she's, she's Jada Pinkett Smith. He, he should just accept what he deserves, <laughs> right? I think that's kind of one of the lessons that we're all being taught. This way or the other? Oh. That way. <laughs> that we're all learning. You were lucky that Amber Heard, who... I mean, I don't remember what Amber Heard was in last. I don't remember her last movie. I'm sure it was really good. I'm sure it was It was absolutely amazing. Now, now I know Johnny Depp was in 21 Jump Street, which I never watched. I know he was uh, that pirate guy, because I watched that once or twice. One of those, one, one or both of the movies, or maybe there are three or four of them. I don't know. There could have been four. And, I mean, all I know is they're wildly successful. But who cares? See, Amber Heard has fantasies of how tough her life is. You know, she was only, again, married to one of the most self-made famous performers in the history of our country... That really, you know, he should probably just understand he's he's lucky that she just doesn't get to, to ritually kill him and devour his head like a praying mantis. <laughs> wait, is that the movie she was in? Was it wait, was that it? Is Amber Heard the one in that movie where she's like the the super beautiful, like evil alien? What was that wreck? replicant I forget but see I don't even know what Jada Pinkett Smith and Amber Heard were in let me (laughs) but apparently these two fellows have to understand how lucky they were that Amber Heard and Jada Pinkett Smith make them look like shit (laughs) we've learned so much about gender America learned so much it's glorious what a glorious lesson we are all learning that when you are a famous actor and you get divorced, that you can be treated like fucking dirt. You know, you could have, be humiliated in front of the public and that everybody will suddenly turn on you. No matter how successful, no matter what a good guy you were, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You dangler with your dongler. So, this is glorious. We've learned so much. So much has been learned. And I'm sure there's so many of you fellas out there that you're thinking, damn, do I want a bitch like Jada Pinkett Smith? Damn. There's so many guys out there right now who are like, 
damn, if I could only date a woman like Amber Heard. Right? That's what you all are saying now, right? What a lucky fucking guy. He's dating. He got Amber Heard. <laughs> Holy shit. And, and now, of course, everybody understands, especially, especially wealthy black men understand. Definitely marry them. <laughs> Always marry them, bro. That's, that's how they learn. That's how they learn how much you love them. So let's take a look at me, shall we? we got, oh, no, 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 no. No, keep on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Serious. Serious business. Not serious business here. Because I got something to show you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because you move to the left. Yeah. Then you go for yourself. You slide to the right. Yeah. If it feels all right. Da, 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 da. Let's see here. Now, baby, I'm going to let you know. It's got a whole lot of soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do the Harlem Shuffle. Oh, do the monkey time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the Harlem Shuffle. All right, let's take a look, see if this is what I think it is. Those boy, oh boy, folks, they have packed it plenty in, yes, indeed. Blam! Wayne Cochran. Oh, yeah, the white king of soul music. Look at that hair. Look at that hair. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Look at that suit, man. Look at that. Woo! You know, like, somebody like Bill Clinton was, like, all about Wayne Cochran, but... No, Bill. You should have you should have tried to play sax for Wayne Cochran, Bill. Instead, Bill Clinton... Well, I mean, he was president, so... Yeah. <laughs> should have stuck with the saxophone, buddy. Because, uh... The, 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 the saxophone versus... The sexy phone. That, no, no. Don't mess with that. <laughs> Epstein came at him and said, I have an invention. It's called the sexy phone. You just you just call up, you just call up some hoes. <laughs> Tell them to come to the island. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What else? What else have we got going on here? That was my big luxury was buying a Wayne Cochran album because I was very good this year. With the oh, oh nice. Oh, okay, good, good, good. A nice, a nice shirt for work because it is going to be very warm. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking sweltering in the northwest. I could already tell. I could already tell. It's going to. This is going to be an ass kicker this year. I'm already being able. I can, I'm already able to kind of get the the feeling of the seasons that uh, we're gonna we're gonna get a. Good bit of heat. There's supposedly fires. Um, well, you know, and oh yeah, Oregon is probably going to uh, have stupid ass mask mandates again. Oregon's going to be one of those places where where the dumbasses mandate masks because of the fires, because that's what it was. The Northwest was wearing masks for so long because of an emergency order that came from fire season, from fucking fire season. She like let that shit sit around for like like ever. And, and the legislature won't do anything because the legislature here made up the most moronic morons of Moronville. Moron America. You know, Oregon liberal morons. Liberal fucking morons. <laughs> and they still, they're still lining up for fucking, they're still lining up for the prick and, and lining up you know, like fucking cattle. Like fucking cattle. Sheep heads. I, I mean, I, I like there. There, this is this state's got to be run by like some kind of like Ashkenazi gangsters or something, you know, where they're like they're all sheep, they all have sheep heads. I forget. That's like it's some like a shlemiel 
or something. It's like a great insult from Yiddish. You have a sheep's head. <laughs> God, that's so good. And that's one of those where I'm like, there is something, something about that stings. I don't know what it is. And it's like, you know, because it's an ancient Jewish curse. <laughs> Thou art one with a sheep's head. Okay, all right. Oh, feeling, feeling the fatigue. Oh, yeah. Oh, tomorrow I've got to hit the bar. No, the bar. The chin-up bar. Because it's time again. Got to get my chins in. I haven't been hitting the chin bar, so I'm starting to lose grip strength. Because grip strength, it's all about that grip strength. That's one of those things, actually, a little secret for men. Huge issue, grip strength. Two things you need. You need something that is like a foot massager that you could just run under your foot. You could just sit there and passively run under, run it under your foot. You could, one of the things, get a foot bath. Especially those of you who you live with a woman, get one of those massaging foot baths. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It'll, it'll really help. It actually, um, if you... Uh, massage the hands and you massage the feet. Um, the hands actually even, you could just stretch them as long as you um, exercise them pretty regularly. There's also things like this. These. You keep them apart. You try to keep them as quiet as you can. And then... Turn them upside down. Yeah. And that will give you excellent and maintain excellent grip dexterity. <laughs>